here a question here that has an UV L and an UDL. You already calculated the reaction forces of A and B, which is 15 kN and 70 kN. I will start drawing with the SAP diagram. Since the force at A is acting upwards and it's 15 kN, so we have positive 15 kN upwards. So let it 15. Now we know the shear force diagram. We have a, a cubic curve for an UVL. And since it's rising, we have an upward cubic curve like this. But we don't know the value of this yet. So what we'll do is, since this is downward acting downward, we have minus minus two divided two into twenty into three. So the magnitude is now minus 15. So we'll draw this. So this is parabolic curve. We have cubic curve in the bending moment diagram. This now the value we have calculated is 15. So we'll write 15. There is no shear force acting until point V. So this will be straight line until V. This will also 15. Now at B there is an upward force of 70. So we'll add that force 70. So we'll getting 55. So this value will be 55. Now we know the curve in SFD for UDL is a slanting line. So we'll find the value of that. Acting downwards, so we have a negative sign minus 20 into 2. So it is coming positive 50. So we'll draw it to 15. Then we have a downward reaction force of 15 kN. So we'll draw it this way. Positive, this is negative, and this is positive again. Now, to calculate this point, which is known as point of contraflexion, we are taking triangles. So, it's an entire triangle from A to D, and we are taking a section at a distance x from A. Then we have separated this triangle. See, so this is the x distance and this is 3 meters. By symmetrical triangles, you can write this as m by x near the value of m. So we'll use the symmetrical triangles rule. You can write it m by x equals 20 by 3 or m plus 20 by 3 into x so this is the value of m like we have the value 20 kN over here and with the value of m you can go ahead to find the shear force equation the shear wheel now we know when there is a force in this direction about a section it's taken as positive so the force at a is 15 kN upwards so write it as 15 then for this triangle the force will act at so this distance will be x by 3 since this is total distance x so we can write this as 2x by 3 uh, overall force is acting at 2x by 3 of this triangle or this we can write as x by 3 
now the force of this and the self force equation we can write as so we have magnitude of 20x by 3 20x by 3 we know this value we have to find the force by multiplying half into the base so it will be x so this our equation is now ready and we have this equation can equate to 0 since the shear force at this point is 0 so after equating we can write it as 15 minus 10x square by 3 to 0 we can find the value we have is root of 45 by 10 is 2.12 so our x equals 2.12 meters 2.12 meters we can write it as 2.12 I will go ahead to find the bending moment equation for this point of contrafaction. We know the bending moment about section is positive in this direction. So at A we have a 15, uh, uh, 15 kN force upwards which is on the left side of the section. So that will be taken as positive. So let us 15 and the distance from this section mm is x so that is x then you know the force acting over here is the distance of x by 3 so we'll write the magnitude first so half into we have the value of m as 20 x by 3 into x and we we'll multiply the distance x by 3 from this section right x by 3 so this is our bending moment equation we can simplify it as 15x minus 10x cube by 9 since there is a cube root over here so the curve will be a cubical curve we had a parabolic curve over here the curve made here will be a cubic now to find the value of bending moment at x we equate x equals 2.12 so write 15 into 2.12 minus 10 into 2.12 whole cube by 9 so we got a value of 2.21 now we have zero moment over here so going upwards and writing 2.21 also there will be curve over here so this is the cubic curve this is also cubic curve Now to find this value, we'll equate since the distance is three, we'll equate x equals to three over here. So we'll equate x equals to three. Can write fifteen into three minus ten into three q one nine. So we have fifteen. So this value over here will change. Proceed ahead. You can find out 
the area of the square which is 15 into 2 so I'll, and uh, this is negative so I'll minus 15 into 2 actually minus 15 straight line go 15 now again this rectangle over here so you can simply calculate this area do it again 15 into 2 minus 15 into 2 I missed the moment over here, so I'll eliminate this right minus since this is moving anti clockwise, we'll take it as negative minus 25. will go down to 40 now we can calculate the area again minus 15 into 2 and getting 70 again a slope 70 now for UDL we know the curve will be a parabolic calculate the bending moment we can divide it into two parts one is a rectangle and a triangle so for that I will subtract I will add this because this is my positive so I will have for plus first I will add this area which is 15 into 2 Then I'll add this area of the triangle, which is plus 15.5 into 15 to 2, 2 meter into this distance. So this is 15 here. This distance will be 40 to 40. So getting zero value over here so that completes